This is a list that's not made public. This is essentially a secret list. There is a fundamental right at issue here. So the Child Abuse Registry is a list that's in the agency. It's not a public list. Uh, you don't know you're on it. Uh, and the way you get on that list is as a result of a CPS investigation. If the investigation has been substantiated, um, then you're on the list. The parents who are on the registry for the most part have done something that a CPS investigator has determined in hindsight to be neglectful supervision. Really, it's a parenting disagreement between the CPS investigator, who's likely not a parent, and the parent. When a family is placed on the list, they may go on to be found not responsible for uh, the allegations of abuse uh, that have been levied against them, but still remain on the list because the list is a document within the state agency and not governed by the court system. So the first problem for parents who find themselves on the child and, uh, abuse registry is that this counts as CPS history. So in the future, if there's another uh, allegation of abuse and CPS investigates, then that investigation, uh, that family is subjected to higher scrutiny because they have CPS history. Another consequence of being on the CPS child abuse registry is that it affects people's ability to get jobs uh, or even to get into uh, professional trade and professional school uh, like nursing school uh, and really anything, um, any profession that deals with children is affected by a person's presence on the child abuse registry. The type of review process that we need for parents who find themselves on the child abuse registry is an administrative law process whereby you could appeal the case to an administrative law judge. That administrative law judge would hear evidence and make a determination. And if the determination was that the allegations were unsubstantiated, then your name would be removed from the list.